This is a quick start guide on setting up three commas with TradingView. So first things first, go up to create DCA bot. We're gonna give our bot a useful name like example. We're gonna select multi-pair. We're gonna click USDT all. And we're gonna scroll down. Next, we're gonna set our max active deals to 100. We're going long and we're taking our profits in USDT. Our base order in this example is gonna be 20 USD and we're gonna be using market orders as they're quicker than limit orders. We're gonna turn reinvest profits all the way down as this isn't compatible with TradingView. We're gonna change our deal start condition to TradingView custom signals. We're gonna set our take profit as conditions and then TradingView custom signal. We're gonna turn off minimum profit as this feature isn't compatible with TradingView. Stop loss, we're gonna leave this as off as all of our stop loss signals will be controlled from TradingView. Next, we're gonna turn down all of our safety order values to zero where possible. And we're gonna leave this as 20. It doesn't actually matter what this value is as all of our safety orders will be controlled from TradingView. Next, we're gonna leave all these settings as standard and change our simultaneous deals to 10. And that's it, press start. Bot has been turned on, press okay. And now we're gonna scroll down until we can see this. Message for deal start signal. Click this to copy it to your clipboard. And now we're gonna to go to trading view. So now that we're in trading view, we're gonna go up to indicators, type in emu moon. We're gonna add the symbol searcher and the latest version of the advanced DCA tool. So now that we've got the symbol searcher, we're gonna look at our top picks list, try and find the best performing coins. At the moment, Pepe is top of the list, followed by SYN. We've also got a bunch of other coins in here. We're gonna go with SYN. In this example, we're using Binance and we're trading spot. So make sure that your data is provided by the exchange we're using. We're going to get rid of the symbol searcher now and we're going to bring up the advanced DCA tool. So now we can back test and see the performance over time. We can see our entry positions, our safety orders, our average price paid in orange and our take profit price in green. We can look at our back testing results. Once we're happy with our settings, we need to make sure that our base order is the same in trading view as it is in three commas. So I'm going to go ahead and change these two values here. Next, we're going to clear all the characters in here and paste in our message from our clipboard. And now we can see at the bottom here, it says platform auto selected three commas multi pair, and it says ready to live trade, go ahead and change your time to 1125 on the third of the 624. So let's do that. So 11.25 on the 3rd of the 6th, 2024. So you can see our chart is updated. We don't have any entry positions or safety orders or exit positions. And we can see here, it says you have 14 minutes to create an alert. You can go up to the top right and press create alert, or you can press alt A. So alt A conditions. We're gonna change this to the advanced DCA tool. We're gonna leave this as order fills, give it something useful like a sin example. And we're gonna leave our message as two curly open brackets, message with a capital M, two curly close brackets. Over in notifications, we're gonna make sure that we have our three commas webhook URL address in here. And we need to also make sure that this is ticked. I quite like to be notified in app and as pop-ups, I don't really like emails. Press create. Our new alert has been created in the top right here. And in just a few minutes, we'll see it place an order on our exchange. Orders will populate this area here. So you can export these as .csv files, which can be really handy. And that's about it on the trading view side. In the meantime, you can actually be setting up multiple other alerts, which we'll get into in just a moment. But just for this example, I'm gonna show you how to set up one, and then we'll get into just a few more in a moment. Okay, so there's our alert, it's just come through. We can see that it's populated our alerts log here and you can find some more information about it. If we go over to our chart, we can see that we have a base order that's been plotted on our chart. 
over in free commas, if we refresh the page and scroll down, we can see that we now have a new position with SYN. So now let's set up another bot. We're going to go back to our symbol searcher. Let's go with Voxel and TLM. Obviously, you want to spend a bit more time researching these coins more than I am here. Again, you'll want to make sure that the data is provided by your exchange and you've got the correct pair. For example, USDT instead of USDC or USD. It all depends on what your intentions are when it comes to trading. Uh, we're going to go ahead and adjust our time again. So up to settings and adjust your times. Wait for the chart to refresh and make sure that there's no base orders or safety orders plotted. Here it says you have a few minutes to create an alert. We're going to press Alt A, set our conditions, voxel example, create. We didn't need to adjust this. This can stay exactly the same. And all of our other settings in this example, I'm going to keep the same for simplicity. The default settings are actually a really good starting point, And they're pretty much the same settings I use in the 10K trading series. We're going to add our third and final example here, which is TLM. We're going to wait for the chart to load. And this time around, we've still got enough time to create a new alert. We'll fill out the conditions. Create. So now we've got three examples all created, and then we're going to wait for them to come through. A few minutes have passed and now there's our alerts. So we've got Voxel and we've also got TLM. We can see the alert condition and some information about the trades. If we go back into free commas now and give the page a refresh, scroll down and we can see all three of our trades in progress. We've got a total of $60 locked in. If we go over to my deals, we can see these three deals in progress, SYN, Voxel, TLM. We can also open up the charts in free commas, which will show us our entry positions. And that's pretty much it for this quick start guide. I hope you enjoy. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.